Aiden Crozier, how are the boys feeling after that win? Yeah, boys are pretty up and about. Obviously, it was a disappointing start. Um, first quarter, they came out in the front foot, which we obviously expected. And, um, yeah, we didn't really respond the way we wanted to in the first quarter. But I thought from the second quarter onwards, we really came out and made it a focused, hard hit around the, around the contest. And, um, yeah, played well in the end. Was there any particular message at quarter time that got, to, got through to the guys and helped bring the fight back? Yeah, it was more just around our stoppage structures that was hurting us in the first quarter and them sort of getting numbers back on us um, in the forward line. So once we sort of made it into a contest, seven on seven, eight on eight, I thought we played really well from then onwards. Four goals down, it's pouring with rain. I mean, we've been fighting back from positions like that all year. Has, is winning games like that in the past give us some belief? for games like today? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, ideally you don't want to be in that situation where you are four or five goals down, but um, I think the fight and the resilience in the group is first class and obviously it's a young group, but um, we really trust our fitness staff to put in over the pre-season that we can run games out and I thought we did that really well tonight. Pretty important goal from you early in the second quarter. Take us through that snap from the pocket. I'm just thankful I went through for a goal because I think I had five goals nine leading into today, so I needed to kick a couple on straight, but um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. It was 10 metres out, so just lucky it all went through. Good to add another three to your total? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's nice to kick goals, but um, I think, you know, all-round team performance and we saw tonight there was a lot of multiple goal kickers and I thought the forward line worked well in the end, obviously after a disappointing start and, um, yeah, the boys have to get the four points. Impressed with how Connor Blakely went, nine tackles, 33 touches. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he was, he was given a role and um, Mark Murphy is obviously a, a fantastic player and a well-renowned player and I thought Connor did really well inside the stoppages. You can just see the way he works and, and feeds it out to our outside runners. It's something that's really important and we value him in the team strongly and he's really improving, which is good. We've moved up to fifth, but there's a big test against Adelaide this week. How do you see that clash going? Yeah, Adelaide are a fantastic side, obviously on top, and they're on top for a reason. They've got a very dangerous midfield, um, forward line especially, and even defence, so virtually all over three three um, spots there. So, I mean, they'll be a real, real tough test, and um, especially with their home crowd and all that kind of stuff. But we'll bring a lot of confidence out of today and, and the last you know, five or six weeks that um, we can really run games out, and hopefully we can get off to a good start against Adelaide. That's a good heading over after a few good away wins too. Yeah, that definitely builds a little bit of confidence in the group and um, you know, we've tried to relate our game to you know, strong resilience, doesn't matter where we play, anywhere, anytime as Ross likes to say, so um, I thought we'd done that right so far and we just need to keep this continuing. Cheers Chris. Thanks mate.